What's going on everyone? It's Albert Castro here from Vapor Nation bringing you guys yet another juice review. Today we're going to be talking about Nirvana Vapor. Let's get to it. Alright, so um, the guys over at Nirvana Vapor sent me a nice little sample pack and uh, I believe these are five milliliter bottles, five, uh, five milliliter, milliliter glass dripping bottles, which is really cool. Given it comes with a nice little card here, and they also gave me this bigger card that has a logo on it and a uh, flavor list on it, which is pretty cool. Um, it's gonna help me out through this uh, process. So I haven't even opened this. This just came in the mail. It came in the mail about two days ago, and. Um, I got some other stuff in the mail that I'm gonna that I'm gonna talk about after, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna get down to it. So they sent me one, two, three, four, five, six, six juices. Um, I'm, this is their whole line in uh, five milliliter bottles, I believe. And I requested, yeah, I, re I requested six milligram juice, but they sent me zero, um, zero nick. Which is fine. That's whatever. I don't mind. Um, I'm more than happy to have gotten anything. So the first one that I pulled out is uh, meditation. So on here, meditation is a mouthful of melon goodness. And uh, I just picked up this bad boy. It's the Manhattan clone. And uh, before you guys get mad at me for getting the clone of this, um, I support American-made products as much as anyone else. I respect anyone who decides to do that, only because it's so much more expensive to make things in the U.S. than, obviously, clones that cost a lot less to make in China. But times are tough, you know. I, I don't have $280 to spend on a vape. I spent $25 on a clone at V Apes. So I mean, if I had the money, believe me, I would buy the authentic. Um, I have a .5 ohm build in here. Um, I didn't want to go too low, and I was a little too lazy to rebuild anything right now. So I got a .5 ohm in, uh, coil in here, dual coil, uh, dual micro coils. So let's drip some of this. Um, and this, this clone works really, really well. This smells really, really good. It's so cute, like it's a little, little dripper. <laughs> it's like a little, like a little baby bottle. All right, so. This stuff smells really, really good. It's just straight up like melon. Oh, it smells delicious. All right, so this is their meditation. Beaver production, very nice. really really tasty <coughs> now for me zero milligrams is a little weird for me to me it's it's like a whole different ball game compared to nicotine throat hit was um, for me with zero nicotine I feel like a like a tickle like it tickles my throat and I'm not really used to that so if I like cough or anything I'm sorry um, but with like nicotine like with six milligrams that I'm used to it's not like a tickle it's like a kick like if you were to be smoking a cigarette. Let's talk flavor. Now, what I'm getting from this is like just a straightforward, very sweet, like melon. There's some watermelon in there. Definitely watermelon. Um, maybe like a tiny like hint of cantaloupe.
pretty good. No complaints on that one at all. Vapor is really nice on it. Pretty good. So that was our meditation. The next one I will do will be Dragon's Drink. Dragon's Drink is a fizzy cherry cola. Sounds good. It smells exactly like a, like a cherry Pepsi. Let's try this. My battery's also dying too. I've gotten really dark lately. Fucking sun. Alright, so this is their dragon's drink. Definitely spot on with a with a fizzy cherry cola. On the inhale, you get that like carbonated like soda flavor. Like spot on. And on the exhale you get that like cherry a little bit of cherry going on in there. It's nice and sweet. Now I'm not the biggest fan of um, cola vapes. It's just not my thing. I'm a custard guy. I love custards. Nothing beats custards. Um, but it's pretty good. I guess it's depending on the person. If you really like um, like soda-based vapes, check this one out. It's it's not bad. Next one I'll do is called Ohm. Now Ohm is honey tobacco with hints of vanilla. <coughs> Finally got a sweet, some kind of custardy. Hopefully, oh, it smells straight up like tobacco. Smells good. <coughs> you can definitely smell honey too. So this is their own. It tastes a lot like pipe tobacco. If you ever smoke like shredded tobacco in a pipe, that's what it really reminds me of. Definitely honey and vanilla in there too. I feel like the vanilla could be brought out just a little bit. Um, again, me personally, not the biggest fan of tobacco flavors. I was at one point. So it kind of brings me back to those days, you know, where I vape tobacco flavors when I first quit cigarettes. And uh, it's not bad. So if you're really into um, tobacco flavors, it's not bad at all. And I like their, their diversity. Like they have tobacco, and then they go to like melon. Like it's pretty cool. They don't stick to the same kind of concepts. Pretty sweet. This next juice I'll be talking about is Erotic. Erotic is a pomegranate boba tea with lychee jelly. If you guys have seen my lychee videos, y'all know that I like lychee and boba. Mmm, it smells really, really good. I can already tell this would be an all day vape for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. 
go. Definitely pomegranate in there. Very nice. Pomegranate and the lychee in it brought out really, really nicely. It's not too overbearing. It's just right. All day bait, for sure. Very, very, very good. Definitely one of my favorites for now. So that was their erotic. Next one I'll do will be Buddha's Breath. Buddha's Breath is a sweet coconut milk with exotic spices. I like coconut, so. It smells very coconutty. The smell is very dominant of coconut. This is the Buddha's breath. Oh yeah. On the inhale, I'm getting a very straight coconut flavor. And on the exhale, straight coconut. I'm not sure where the ex exotic spices are. I'm kind of tasting cinnamon in there. I don't know if that's considered an exotic spice, but it mixes well really together. Vapor production, very nice. So that was Buddha's breath. Very nice coconut flavor. And the last one, which is their most talked about, is their unicorn horn. Unicorn horn is a mixed berry and peach sorbet. First, the unicorn flavor that doesn't have anything to do with strawberry and cream or strawberry and milk that I know of. Can't they pick a different mythological creature? Just kidding. I don't mind it. Oh, it smells really peachy. smells really good. So this is their unicorn horn. Hmm. On the inhale you get a very nice berry. Like, like a raspberry, strawberry kind of thing going on. On the exhale, definitely, definitely very peachy. Very, very nice. So that's all the juices that this review will consist of. Um, I want to thank Nirvana Vapor for sending me out this sample pack. I really, really appreciate it. Um, again, thank you guys for the support. I hit 100 subscribers. Um, I forgot to mention that. That's really, really sweet. Thank you guys again for everything. There's, there's no other way of saying it, you know, just thank you, I really appreciate it. So that'll do for today, until next time, pay pong.